for as cool as drones are, we have we they flip over when you press a button. They have GPS to come to home now. They can beep when you press a thing. They still don't scream when they do flips and rolls. Why not? What is wrong with all of you innovator inventors? They still don't scream when they do flips and rolls. Are you leaving it up to me? I'm the guy. I got to do this. I have no idea what I'm doing. Welcome to today's video. I'm going to make drones scream when they do flips and rolls. <laughs> One day I was like, you know, it'd be cool as if my drones screamed when they did flips and rolls, but I can barely keep myself alive, let alone do anything else at all. So I went to Micro Center and I found this little thing. This is like, you're supposed to put this in a stuffed animal and then program it or something and it makes the sound. It makes the animal sound. So it's like, oh, fucking sweet, dude. I can just put another scream on this. So I can just edit the little files or whatever and put a little scream on it. Nope, nope. That's because, well, it's not a scream. It's not an audio file. It's like a tone or so. I don't know. Look, here's the noise that it makes. Now, this little piece of shit stuffed animal noisemaker thing was definitely not going to work. It's not loud enough to put on a five inch quad. It's not loud enough to put on a tiny whoop. This thing, I don't, you can't, how do you put this in a stuffed animal? You're not going to hear shit. This is going to terrify your child out of fruit, you bunch of fucking weirdos. Sponsor me, Micro Center. I know Zach Friedman personally. That's a lie. Well, that's not exactly going to work for a fucking micro, let alone a giant full size quad. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to need something much, much louder. So I bought an Arduino. I bought a, a thing. What's that? An accelerometer, I think. And it worked. It totally fucking worked. I got a readout. Ow. Oh shit. I got a readout and I could see when the accelerometer was doing stuff. And then I stopped because I had no idea at all what to do from there on. I needed fucking help big time. If I wanted to make this project work, I'm gonna need somebody's help. So I hit the internet. I hit up my Discord and I said, yo, who's nice with Arduino? I need somebody nice with Arduino. Help me do this shit. It, it might be, you know, a month long project. It's probably gonna be pretty involved. And then Fly and I came along. Oh boy, am I glad Andy is in the Discord. Andy is Fly and I. We'll refer to him as Andy from here on out because that's easier for me. Nope, maybe he doesn't want his name being said. We'll refer to him as Fly and I because that's his FPV name. Now Fly and I was like, hey, I can do some Arduino stuff. And I was like, all right, sick dude, here's what I want. Pretty simple, maybe hard, I don't fucking know. I just want a drone that screams when it does a flip, when it does a roll, when it does a flip, when the thing's upside down, it needs to scream like a fucking shitty goat. Can you do that? And he said, easy, bro. So I waited. I was like, all right, you know, maybe I'll take the man a month or so to do some shit the next day. The next day, he said, hey, I got something put together. And then a few days later, I get this in the mail. This right here is a Genuine V1 Bot Screamer. That's right. This motherfucker right here has LED lights, a big-ass speaker on it, and five modes to select. Oh, shit. And five modes to select through with this handy-dandy little fucking... Little clicker button, look at that, oh my god. And it mounts right on top of your battery. This thing, wait till you see this thing in action. I'm gonna tell you a few more little, I can tell you a few more uh, interesting tidbits and then we're gonna go fly it. Now when this arrived upon my doorstep, I was like, oh my god, this dude is professional. He even has little envelopes with his logo on them. But guess what, it doesn't stop there. He made me this entire schematics thing, hang on. He made me this entire schematics thing that's like, hey, ding dong, here's your flight controller, here's the fucking bot screamer, it'll be referred to the bot screamer, and then if, like five or six separate times, he's like, hey, don't do all of this stuff, and here's how you do it, and guess what, I still fucked it up. I jumped in the old beta flight, and, or nope, wrong one, hopped into emo flight, and was like, alright, emo, let's do this shit, easy peasy, let me set this up. No, it wasn't fucking working. I was so fucking pissed off. And I hit him up and he's like, hey, you're fucking dumb. He called me dumb. I'm, I'm going to just say it fine. I'm going to tell everybody he called me. He called me a lot of uh, hateful things. No, not really. I didn't have telemetry turned on. I've never used telemetry or anything. I don't know. It was awesome. I turned telemetry on. Everything worked fucking fantastic or so I thought. It was time to test this motherfucker. Came down here, warned the neighbors. I was like, yo, I'm an idiot. Plug your ears. And we did the very first test in the house of the bot screamer. Test number one. File footage. LEDs come on. Need to give it five seconds to do its little thing. And if everything went well, as soon as I turn it over, it's gonna scream and we have the screaming drone. Okay, fingers crossed. It doesn't work. It worked, hang on, hang on. Okay, 
Okay, that totally fucking works. What else we got? Fan fucking tastic. The piece of shit works. Oh my god, I can't believe it works. Are you serious? It reads the gyro data. He's flying eye is a genius. He's a genius. Instead of using a stupid accelerometer and a whole ass thing that I was doing, he just reads the gyro, the gyro data from the fucking flight controller, and bing, the thing screams. There's actually a way smarter explanation to this thing on how to do it. So I'm gonna let Fly and I explain it before I get too much further in here. Yo, it's Fly and I. I hope you enjoyed what the bot just pulled. Let me show you how I actually built this. So I took an ESP8266, an amplifier, a speaker, some LED lights, some wires, and a 3D printed case. Put it all together and we got the bot screamer. Now the bot screamer is connected to a flight controller and a flight controller in Betaflight has on one port LTM enabled. LTM stands for light telemetry protocol which is basically a very small telemetry protocol um, that communicates to the firmware. Now the firmware reads this and understands in which attitude the quad is. And then depending if it pitches forward or backwards, it will turn on and off stuff. Or if it rolls, it will determine that it goes upside down. Now it's all open source, it's on my GitHub. So if you wanna build it yourself, have fun. See you later. All right, thanks Flying Eye, that was fucking amazing, dude. He he. Fly and I is the whole reason this video is fucking happening. I was just like, I have a dumb idea. And he's like, hey, I'm smart and I can make that idea happen. Get you a smart friend. Oh, you want to see an action? All right, let's go to the field. So I got this whole thing put together. I tested it out in the house and I was like, let's go to Baltimore. Let's call Cricket. Let's call Ilbro. Lord Stigler. Let's get the homies together and let's test this motherfucker out. Let's go to Baltimore. <laughs> Okay, this is fucking stupid. My original plan, I was gonna put the Insta360 Go in here, the point up here, but all it's doing is looking at this fucking stupid wire. So, so now I have it taped here like a hostage, like the front of a fucking Viking ship on the bow, just pointing at the ground. Okay, so this is gonna be fucking dumb. Maybe I'll, there, let's just try this and I'll figure out something better. Let's make sure this son of a bitch even works. <laughs> I forgot about, I forgot about the extended scream. If you just stay upside down and just keep screaming. <laughs> it works and it works beautifully. It's kind of weird. Like I was saying, when you roll, when you do a roll, it takes a little bit of time, but when you do flips, wait, yeah. When you do rolls, it takes a minute, but when you do flips and backflips and shit, it does it instantaneously. As Fly and I explained it to me, the LTM protocol that we're using on here, it's kind of like when when the flight controller has time for it, then it'll do that protocol or something. I, I don't know. I don't fucking know anything. I'm an idiot. Elated off the success of the goat scream, I decided to reveal to everybody else there that it actually has more modes. There, I didn't tell. I was like, oh, it screams when it rolls, but... I did not tell them that it has motherfucking police mode, it has duck mode, and it has musical mode. Let me show you, duck mode actually didn't work, unfortunately, but let me show you police mode. Yeah. So what do you think of the screaming drone? I think my belly's warm. You're doing the Tracy, the Tracy Morgan? <laughs> my belly's warm. Remember Tracy Morgan would always do that? That's his, he'd say comedy and he'd just be like, my belly. That's right. I don't have what LL got. I got, I don't got biscuits. I got a loaf of bread. Come get this, ladies. You're going to eat. Come get this. You hear that? Look at that. That's a mating call. My belly. That was his whole, he was hilarious on 30 Rock. I feel like the screaming drone sounds like what your mind's thinking. This is your mind on drones. Ah! Do you think it's a viable piece? Ah! Should I make them and sell them? Do you think this will be on every drone from now on? 
Can Hell I have yeah. one? I'll give you. Oh yeah, I'll give you. Can one you for sponsor sure. me? Cricket. <laughs> this is now cricket approved. It is cricket approved. Ding. What do you think, Lord Stag? You think so, it's awesome? I kind of hope you crash again because uh -huh. it's actually the funniest when it's stuck upside down just screaming. That is. That is. So pretty, I kind of yeah. want to see that again. <laughs> Yo, bro. Thoughts on the screaming drone? Is it going to be a, a fan favorite? Is everybody going to have one of these now? I need three. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there we go. Fire. What do you think? Yep. Just keep this warm. Just keep this warm. My belly. My belly. My belly. Have you been watching stand up again? <laughs> Where is he? Uh, there we go. Alright. Yeah, okay, let's see. Now I'm gonna try to activate police mode by jumping forward. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is fantastic. Alright, and should disengage by leaning backwards. Uh-oh. Well, we can just break it. Oh, right underneath you. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck 12. That shit's pretty tight, right? That shit's pretty tight. If I ever want to scare the shit out of the entire park, I just flip that to police mode and drive around like a fucking jerk ass. Next up was the musical mode, though. If they, if they didn't get a kick enough out of the police mode and the screaming goat crashing mode... Wait, the crash... What the fuck? The screaming goat flipping mode... I guess it's a crashing mode too. Then wait till they get a load of the musical yaw. Yeah, that's right. Fly and I hooked it up with yet another mode that makes it do a fucking. Okay, so I tried to explain it in the video, but basically every position of your yaw is a different note either way. So it's like ding 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 ding. You'll see in the video. It's fucking amazing. I think this mode's a little bit harder to hear with the props and shit, but you can definitely fucking hear it. Turn your TV up. So I feel like I haven't really got proper footage for this thing because <laughs> uh, whatever. So I've rigged up the stick here. Thanks for the idea, everybody, for the stick. I've rigged up a stick and some tape to try to get a little bit of footage of this thing doing its roll and shit. Oh, remind me I can't do low rolls because I have a big stick sticking out of my fucking quad. Yeah, that's annoying. Oh, nice. Oh, God, it's working. It's awesome. So it's whatever... Yeah. It plays whatever tone. Oh my god, it's working. I'm gonna go play him a song. What song is that? I'm a song I made for you. What? I'm making it right now as I yaw spin. Musical motherfucking Yaspins. Also, I forgot Fly and I made this shirt for me. And I told him I was going to wear it when I recorded the video. And I just recorded the damn near whole thing and forgot to wear it. But look, I'm wearing it now, buddy. <laughs> Musical Yaws was a fucking smashing success. Oh my God, I can't believe this drone worked out so fucking good. For real, Fly and I, you did a fantastic job. You did exceeded expectations, especially for free since I didn't pay him anything. I really, really can't believe it worked so well. It was plenty fucking loud. In person, we fly way up to the sky and go upside down and you could totally hear that shit. Now, you may be watching this and you're like, bot, this is great. You fucking show off with your bot screamer. I don't have one. You're the only one in the world with one. Well, hot fucking damn it, you can build your own. That's right, Fly and I has put this online on GitHub. The entire fucking thing is on there. If you want to build your own bot screamer, he has directions on how to do it. He has the source code. You just go on the World Wide Web, you cyber surf your dumb motherfucker. <laughs> Whoops. You just ride that information super highway all the way on to GitHub. You can find this project and you can make your own. And please, please make your own. Please make a bot screamer. Put your own little sounds on this thing. Film it and show me and I'll put it in a future video. If, one, if some of y'all do this, Send me some clips and I'll put it in another video and I'll show everybody like, hey, look, this totally fucking rad person made a bot screamer unit, total unit. So after I was done wowing everybody with my amazing bot screamer police drone and shit, I decided to fly some freestyle with my only GoPro, which is uninsured. And this was my very first flight. Shit went good, shit went well. That went so well, I was like, fuck it, this thing's uninsured, let's just rip, let's fly another freestyle pack. And then this happened. Ooh. 
So that's how it went. I, tried, I fucking did the boss scream. I tried to fly my drone twice, and I crashed. And now I'm back home making this video that hopefully you're watching. Are you watching this yet? So that's about that. That is the bot screamer. Thank you so much, Fly and I, for helping me with this. I literally couldn't do this without you. This was an idea that I had that I thought would be super fucking sick. And Fly and I was like, yeah, that's super sick, but I can make it better. And it is. And it's here. And now we fucking have it. Thank you, bro. I got some new videos coming out, including one of this fuck, this budget center lifter that I made. It's pretty super sweet. You can build a center lifter for under a thousand bucks. Press your friends, get some gigs, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I gotta say a big old shout out to all my patrons. The only reason I'm not sitting in a kitchen right now watching FPV videos, washing dishes, is because of these motherfuckers. Thank you so so much to every single one of my patrons every single month. I shout out everybody, every single video. I shout out the $50 patron, so if you want to be a $50 patron, I'll say your name every video. And as always, shout out to my top tier patrons. I say their name every time. Billy Hackett, Diesel Cheeks, Fred805, Mikey FPV, Sunstrat76, TTFPV, Volleytronics, and WOM FPV. Thank you. You get stickers and shit. There's a whole lot. There is a whole lot of fucking shit going on over there on the old Discord. So hit that up. Nope. What did I say? Discord. I meant Patreon. Shit. I fucking ruined it. I'm so bad. I'm getting, I'm getting way worse at this. But hey, you're getting better at watching my videos. And that's what really counts. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching this one. I promise next time will be better. Maybe not. I don't fucking know. Bye. <laughs>